Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 Super League Career Mode. We're playing as Real Madrid. This is episode 2. Guys, in today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Borussia Dortmund at the Santiago Bernabeu. Then we have a match against Liverpool. In Liverpool, we're going over to Merseyside to England and hopefully we can pick up the three points. Funnily enough, we're facing Jurgen Klopp's uh, two former sides. We also have transfer deadline day in today's video, the August transfer deadline day. So let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign in January. If you haven't gone and watched the last episode, we managed to sign Ozil from Arsenal. He's coming back to his former side. And we also signed Graceman Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on the right there. Very, very cool. So, guys, let's talk about Karim Benzema. Let's talk about him. Now, I do like Karim Benzema on FIFA. He's a pretty good player. He's not as good as Griezmann, and I feel like Griezmann is going to take his first team position. However, he's worth roughly £30 million, and I don't think he's honestly worth that much. So I've made the decision to sell him. Hopefully, we can do a player plus cash deal for Robert Lewandowski. I read the comments. A lot of you wanted me to sign uh, Robert Lewandowski, and they're roughly around about the same price. We probably can mount a player plus cash deal, and Robert Lewandowski is definitely better than uh, Benzema on... Uh FIFA 16. I sort of feel like Ben Zema is, he's sort of a target man, but he's not as quick as Robert Lewandowski, and Robert Lewandowski just has such a, he's just so much quicker, he's better in the air, and I think he's got a cracking finesse. Bale steps up with a free kick on the stroke of half time. We're 1-0 up here against Borussia Dortmund from Ronaldo's uh, goal. Marcelo with the throw in, finds Cristiano. Gareth Bale finds James Rodriguez fresh off the bench. Karim Benzema fires and trying to silence his critics. Obviously, rumored to be leaving, but Bale plays through Benzema. Can he pick up a goal? Potentially his last goal for Real Madrid. Makes it 2-0 in the 90th minute. And not too bad of a, a challenge. I think anyone really could have taken that uh, finish, though. So I've made the decision that I'm going to be selling Benzema, and uh, hopefully we can get Robert Lewandowski uh, for him. So, guys, let me know in the comments, players you'd like me to sign in January. We've signed Graysman, we've signed Ozil, and we're going to sign Robert Lewandowski in today's episode. So, so three new players. Uh, it should be great. So, guys, let me know in the comments as well. Who do you think is going to make up the top four of the Super League career mode? Vazquez is going on loan to Hull City. 24 years of age. 78 overall, roughly worth around about 8 million. Hammers, Rodriguez, let's talk about him real quick. 87 overall, uh, 24 years of age. Arsenal have submitted a 47 million pound bid. No way in hell I'm going to be selling him for anything less than 100 million. I really do like Hammers, Rodriguez. He's not as good as Ozil in FIFA. He can't, I, I feel like Modric has that left central midfield role down pat and Obviously, Tony Cruz is one of the best players in world football in the midfield. He's very good as a cam. He's very good as a central midfielder. And he can definitely drop back to the center defensive mid and, and pull back there. So I'm sort of bringing Hammers fresh off the bench along with Isco. And uh, I imagine if we sign Robert Lewandowski, we'll rotate between Griezmann, obviously being a creative sort of striker. And then we'll be having... Um, Robert Lewandowski as a target man. So I've deliberately chosen to uh, forfeit the cup run here. We managed to lose 6-0 over Hull City. I randomly just chucked players all over the place, chucked some goalkeepers up top and some outfield players in goal. So Robert Lewandowski is an 88-rated striker, 27 years of age. He's worth $43 million. We're going to do a $25 million bid plus Benzema, who's worth roughly around about um, 30. So we've We've essentially put in a £55 million bid for Robert Lewandowski, which I think is very good. I don't believe Karim Benzema is worth £30 million. I don't know if you guys have noticed as well. I used to play with dollars in my FIFA 16 career, but I've made the decision to switch over to pounds just before the release of FIFA 17. So I am going to be playing with pounds from now on. I play with pounds in my Super League career mode. PSG have submitted an offer for James Rodriguez. Like I said, we're not going to accept anything less than £100 million for him. 
Once we get that sort of money, we could nearly bring in Neymar, Messi or, or Suarez. Tottenham Hotspur have submitted a 38 million bid for Karim Benzema. And because we're currently negotiating with Bayern to get the services of Robert Lewandowski with a player plus cash deal, we, uh, we, need, an, we need a lot of money. Um, Jerome Boateng has left Bayern Munich to join Chelsea for £42 million. Lacazette has left Olympic Lyon and has signed Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid have had a very interesting transfer window. They've definitely spent the, gra uh, spent the Griezmann money. And bringing in Lacazette, another creative Frenchman, is a really, really good signing. So let's quickly have a look at Liverpool and see who they're playing. They're playing Joel Matip. They're playing uh, Wijnaldum, some of the new players. Roberto Firmino, Coutinho, Henderson, Lucas Leva, Nathaniel Klein, one of my favorite right-backs in career mode. Skirtle pushes it back to Mingale. Gareth Bale, the Frenchman, goes diving in, and he was very close to getting on the end of that. I really did like that highlight. Wanted to show that uh, for you guys. But obviously, Kevin De Bruyne signed for Manchester City. Wijnaldum from Newcastle finds Coutinho. Coutinho cutting and weaving. Plays through. Wijnaldum! No, sorry, that wasn't Wijnaldum. It said in the bottom left that it was Wijnaldum. It was actually uh, Roberto Firmino. My bad. Calavajal whips it into Griezmann. Rises to the occasion. And uh, we manage to give uh, Wijnaldum a yellow card there and a free kick just outside the box. Gareth Bale was the candidate first up. I changed with Modric to cut it back inside. Cristiano Ronaldo, the man, the myth, the legend, steps up, makes it 1-0 just before the 40th. Guys, let me know in the comments who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer for Real Madrid this season uh, in the last uh, Super Super League career mode. The Manchester United Zlatan Ibrahimovic was the top goal scorer for Manchester United and in the Super League. Ronaldo picked up the most assists in that series. But he's been doing very well. We picked up a 2-0 win over Borussia Dortmund and hopefully we can do the same here. Wijnaldum finds Coutinho lashing away. Obviously scores a lot of long shots and some crazy goals for Coutinho. You really have to watch him. He can just pull it out the back. Milner with a very good header. Joel Matip back into Navas and we had to absolutely just belt that one away with Rafael Varane. Liverpool were trying to test us. But unfortunately for them and Jurgen Klopp's men, it wasn't to me. We managed to scrape a 1-0 victory away at Merseyside and definitely points we need to pick up. Now let's talk about Isco, 23 years of age, 84 overall. We managed to get a 28 million a bid for him. I am interested in letting, letting him go, but no less than 62 million. We probably could bring in a better player. Vertonghen has left for Benfica, the same as in the... Uh, Last Super League career mode, Lacazette, Pastore have signed for Atletico Madrid. They spent 63, roughly, around about million, which is great to see. Uh, Mane has signed for Barcelona. That's not Sado Mane. Juventus have sold Bonucci to Liverpool. Pepe's come in for Manchester City. And it's really quite interesting that Manchester United have spent 18 million on, it looks like a lot of youth players and a lot of squad rotational players. I think it was they think they signed Palacio or Palacios, I can't quite remember. However, Robert Lewandowski has accepted the contract from Real Madrid and Karim Benzema is going over to Bayern Munich for a player plus cash deal. I think that's pretty fair. Benzema plus 25 million plus two overall rating. The Ger sorry, he's not German, he's Polish. My god, the Polish giant here for some reason he's Evaluation went down for joining Real Madrid. Says he's worth 39 million there. But he's going to do really great stuff for us. We need players for the now, here and now. We're only doing one season in this Super League career mode, uploading an episode every single day until FIFA 17 comes out. But uh, yeah, we should be able to finish beforehand. But here is Robert Lewandowski. We're going to be giving him the number nine kit. He was randomly defaulted 18. So he's going to have the number nine from Karim Benzema. So we're still going to be playing this 4-3-3 narrow. We're going to have a lot of attacking options. Obviously, we can push heavy on with Bale, 
Ronaldo and Graysman. If we need a target man, we can quickly chuck Robert Lewandowski up. He can get some. He'd be a really good poacher. Get up to the right, a rise to the headers. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we're going to be starting with Robert Lewandowski in the starting eleven. Graysman is a minus four overall rating compared to them. But Graysman has been playing very well this season. So we're still playing the four three three. Robert Lewandowski leading the line. Ronaldo and Bale on the left and right. We have Modric, Özil in the cam and Tony Cruz in the midfield. Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, and Kalavahal. We have Navas in goal. I really would have liked to replace Navas. He's he's just not up to scratch in this Super League career mode. He's a pretty good he's a really good goalkeeper in real life, but not in FIFA so much. 82 rated. We really need a stronger goalkeeper goalkeeper to hopefully keep up these clean sheets in the Super League career mode. So we'll go through the last 10 hours and see if there's any new transferred players. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. But we basically don't have much money anymore, roughly around about 5, 4 million pounds. And we have roughly around about 50,000 in wages. So we're going to have to sell some players in January or maybe ask the board for some additional funds, which they usually uh, tend to give me. So there's no way I'm going to be selling Isco in the dying hours of the window for anything less than 62.5 million pounds. He's worth roughly around about 27 and we could probably get a couple of other better players than him. David Alba looks set to join Juventus. Obviously this happens in career mode all the time. It's quite hilarious. PSG come with a 40 million bid for Isco. They have obviously signed uh, Hesse Rodriguez from me. I really would have liked to play with Hesse in this Real Madrid career mode. Maybe we could bring him back in in January, but we'll just have to see, of course. But I'm very happy with my signings. We've signed Urzil, we've signed Greatsman and Robert Lewandowski. We might try to sign Fabregas in January and uh, maybe bring back some former players as well. Go watch the first episode to see all my uh, transfer targets. They're in the shortlist. Barcelona come in with a 57 million bid for Hammers, but there's no way in hell with five roughly... Five hours remaining. We're not going to sell him anything less than £100 million, which I think would be insane for James Rodriguez, more than what Paul Pogba has signed for in real life. Coming to the dying hours of the window, will there be any, any more huge signings? We'll just have to see. Two hours remaining. Luis Gustavo has joined Arsenal from Wolfsburg. He has joined the Super League. Wolfsburg are not in the Super League. We'll quickly go through the players. Jack Grealish and Sampa has joined Dortmund. Fischer and uh, Jerome Boateng have joined Chelsea. Bayern Munich have lost a lot of players. Robert Lewandowski, Jerome Boateng and Alaba. Uh, Rabio has a new club as well. But guys, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. Still uploading more Super League career mode every single day. And we've roughly got about 36 more matches to play in the Super League career mode. So let me know in the comments where do you think, like who's going to be in the, the top four. My guess, I don't know. Last time I picked in the Manchester United Super League that it was going to be Real Madrid, Manchester United, uh, Barcelona, and Dort and uh, not Dortmund, uh, Bayern Munich, which are pretty safe bets. However, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid didn't even make the top four. Atletico was in there, and so was uh, Barcelona. But regardless, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.